Hello. Hello, John. Yeah. John, my name is Detective Inspector Glenn Davies. I'm from the Sexual Crime Squad in Melbourne. How are you going? Not bad, Glenn. Yeah, so I just got your email. Thanks, thanks very much for uh, for sending that. That's yep. uh, that's great. Thanks um, for calling. Actually, <laughs> no, no worries at all. Um, look, I'm I'm trying to just clarify a couple of things in your in your uh, contact. Yes. Um, and you've been in contact with the Melbourne process for a number of years. Mm. That that's the independent commissioner process. Is that right? The independent, the non-independent, independent corrupt yep. commissioner. That's the one. Yeah. 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 Um, you provided a statement to Victoria Police via the Queensland Police. When was that? Um, it might have been oh three oh four somewhere around yep. then. Yep. Now, I uh, I didn't have as much recall then as I have had I have now, Glenn. By the way. Yeah. Vastly different. No worries. Uh, so, sorry, just excuse me. I'm typing down stuff so I can um, get one of my officers to chase this file up and see whether, where, where, where or that. if it was actually recorded on our system. So, to make mm -hmm. sure that our process has been uh, has been fired up. Yep. You talk about the um, uh, there was an investigation into the murder of a bloke named Herbert Henry Kemp. That's right. What, what's that about? Um, well, I saw him. Given a beating and a kicking, yeah, um, and he died eight days later from it. Yeah, um, well, how does that relate to to a statement about well, was, the abuse that you had? Uh, it was part of. Uh, I um, that happened when I was fourteen years of age. He was a yeah. fellow who who stood up for me, and yeah. he um, he went to the church. And um, they'd had a number of meetings, etc., about myself being abused. Yeah. And then, uh, and then later on, that was well, five years later, is it? Six years later, um, there was another incident, and he spoke up about that, and promptly got a kicking and a beating. Seventy-two years old, and and died from it. Yeah. Um, I consider that murder. So, uh, Kevin O'Donnell, what was his role? He was he was the fellow who abused me. Is he a priest? Oh yes. Okay. He's the Is world he... record holder, Glenn. He's been uh, determined to have abused more than two thousand children. Was he uh, was he uh, convicted of those offences? Yeah, he got three months or something. Was he was he oh, convicted he's dead of now. abuse? Oh, he's dead. children. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes, he he did. They got it down to. I'm not sure how many charges, only a few yeah. charges, and that's yeah. what they got through, apparently. Okay. Now, um, have you got, did you get compensated through the uh, the Melbourne process? No. Okay. Well, was your matter knocked back, was it? Um, I asked too many questions, so Callahan just keeps going back and, and uh, drive you back into your abuse until you've had enough of that, until you stop asking questions, I guess. Yeah. So, so they 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 haven't they haven't come to the end of their process with you, or they haven't they haven't offered you a hearing or anything like that. Um, they have on one occasion, I believe. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Then I published stuff. I run a number of websites, and they get a bit excited about that. So then O'Callaghan has to have a new investigation. Okay. So I'm one of those people that, that uh, uh, yeah, been through the rounds, I suppose. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. Yeah, look, it's really, it, it, it's, um, uh, I, I have a view that I, I think the best people to investigate uh, sexual abuse and sexual crime is the police. Um, I don't believe that the... Don't have to sell me that. Yeah. Um, so I'd be encouraging any anyone who had... Um, uh, who who had a story to tell? Um, yep. Who had a, a uh, to to come to the police and, and not go to the church? Because what it what it means is that if the police investigate and they uncover, they take a statement. That's the first thing, and they mm. take a proper proper statement that's uh, uh, able to be um, uh, tendered in the court of law. Which yep. most of the statements that were taken by them won't be eligible. To no, to no, and I doubt very much if the one taken by the Catholic woman up here would be 
yep. of great value to you either, yep. Glenn. Yep. So um, that's that's why that's the first reason. The second thing is, if we're able to establish even the uh, the the point where uh, the, the the there's an association um, yeah. where there's uh, contact with that with that particular person at a particular time, uh, we will recommend that a prosecution take place. Now, if there's not enough, yeah. and and really the threshold isn't that high these days. All we need is a competent competent witness, a person who shows that they are willing and able to tell their story in a court of law, right. where there is at least. A, 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 a corroborated Are you talking about me or somebody else? No, no, I'm talking generally now, I'm not just talking about you. Right. Uh, if if the person is able to be, uh, has is competent, able and willing to, to give their side of the story in a court of law, mm. um, and we're able to corroborate that the person actually had an association, as in they were in the same parish, they they uh, had the opportunity oh, O'Callaghan, to the person. O'Callaghan has has uh, given me his acknowledgement. So has Pell. Yep. That I was abused. Yep. I don't know whether that's of value to you. It, it's not of no value to me because the person's dead. So I can't prosecute someone who's dead. So we will we'll prosecute people who are alive. Right. And people who are who are. Uh, see, our process is about. Bringing people to justice in the uh, uh, who have been the perpetrators of sexual abuse. Yes, yeah, I we, understand. We can't we can't do anything about people who are dead. Yeah. And we're not involved in the civil process, yeah. um, so that's that's something that a civil investigator would have to look at, and and a, and a barrister, a, a solicitor would have yeah. to coordinate that civil investigation. So, what I what my position is now is that I'm, in, in relation to any any people who wanted to report sexual abuse by members of the church, I'm encouraging them to come to the police first. So they lose nothing from, from my perspective because even if they say after they get a statement and we do an investigation, they say, oh, actually, I don't want to go to court, that's fine. All those documents are able to be subpoenaed. Yes. All those documents are able to be got hold of and then right. take them to the Catholic Church and say, okay, here's my case. Yep. Um, uh, I, I want some money from you now and I want guarantee that that person's not going to um, uh, abuse yeah, well, that's, I'm in, I'm outside that scope now. Yeah. 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 So, that. so that, that's probably just to explain my role in it. And mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, I spoke to Angie last week yep. and I said, I'm more than happy to speak to anyone yep. who are survivors uh, and anyone to explain what our, what our role is uh, mm -hmm. going to be. Yep. And, uh, and, and um, yeah, and, and give you some uh, solace. So, if you wanted to um, spread the message to other people and say, look, the, the best role, the best way to go about it is oh, going to the police to first. Don't have to sell me. I've been doing that for, well, since 2002. That's Gross. one of the things that pisses O'Callaghan off about me. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Sue Sharkey. Yeah. So, look, I'm, I'm going to be appointed as the police liaison officer to the, to the Melbourne Archdiocese. Uh, in in relation to that they uh, have some accountability through me, yeah. uh, and they are going to have to come to uh, uh, we're going to have to have meetings and uh, discuss certain issues in relation to this uh, uh, on a on a regular basis. And yeah. um, um, you know some of the things that they uh, I hope I've put some processes in place that make them a lot more accountable than what, what they were before. Oh, okay. Look, I've uh, I've um I don't know whether I've got stuff that might be of value to you. I don't know. Um, uh, Look, I, I've got to say, in, in the in the process of formulating a a, a memorandum of understanding or um, something that we can work with with them, um, uh, I've spoken to a lot of people who were survivors. I've spoken yeah. to solicitors, solicitors firms who have dealt with them before yep. and I t I've taken into account a lot of the um, a lot of their complaints yep. and uh, taken into account a lot of how they've been going about things mm -hmm. and what these what the new processes should do, do is um, that uh, they, they're not allowed that they won't be able to uh, by agreement they won't be able to tip off people uh, yep. that there is an investigation happening mm -hmm. they won't be able to um, not uh, give them give the um, the uh, reporters 
specific and detailed information about police uh, police investigations and yeah. policing responses. Yeah. So anyone who makes a decision to say um, to to not involve the police mm. will be well informed about what the police can and can't do, and will be well informed that mm. they are not a royal commission, they are not an appointed. No, look, uh, Glenn, I understand what like you're that. saying. I do understand what you're saying. I am, and effectively, I understand that there's no avenue for me through your process, is what you're saying. Yep. Um, in regards to solicitors that you've spoken to, yep. would you have some, some contacts there for me that maybe um, I can, can attempt to try that way? Absolutely. Um, if you'd like to speak to... Just hang on a second. Yeah, go on. Uh, Lewis Holdaway Lawyers. No, no. no. I'm talking about somebody who understands this stuff. Well, they're... they're uh, 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 you got another name? I've been there. I've, I've been through the IGFA process as well. The IGFA? Yes. What's that? Helen Last. I don't, I don't know who that is. So. Oh, okay. Well, they're as abusive as the church are, and Lewis, they actually have offices in Lewis Holdway's uh, building with Lewis right. Holdway right. Um, in there. So, yes, if you're looking to find where the suicides come from, you can have a look there. Sorry, I don't understand what, you, what you're saying. Looking to where the suicides come from? What does that mean? Well, oh. the... The high rate of suicides in survivors. Yeah, it comes from where, sorry? Well, there's a good starting point to help reduce the suicide rate is to pull those people in line and get them to, to comply with medical standards. When they, they are... Uh, how do I say that? I can go out and put a shingle up out on the street and say that I am a uh, uh, counsellor come supporter for sexual abuse survivors of clergy... Yeah. I don't have to have any form of qualification. Right. Now, if if I make my money out of passing people through the Melbourne process, yep. all right, then uh, I'm effectively using victims. And when victims get used to that extent and they come to understand that, their risk of suicide goes from being being high to extreme. Yep. There have been a number of suicides of people who have been through that process. The, that process being what? The IGFA slash Melbourne process. Oh, yes, okay. Yep, yep. I, I suppose, I suppose um, that um, so, the counselling that they offer, uh, and we have, we, if, the, if the process was gone through with, um, uh, with Carter, through the police, Mm. We they are offered counselling through Carter, and Carter people would uh, Carter. What's Carter? Centre Against Sexual Assault. So we have a is that a Victorian a, one? It's a Victorian it? based one, and I think in in Queensland they have their own as well. They have non government organisations who handle the the um, 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 psychological and mental well being of uh, sexual assault victims. And would they, I be they, eligible for any of that? Absolutely. Well, you would if you're in Melbourne, and uh, if you, if there's a, a an NGO in uh, Queensland, yep. you would definitely be. Um, uh, I'd like some information there. on that, Glenn, if I can. Sure, uh, I can direct you to the to the um, QPS website, mm. and they have an excellent website, including referrals to um, uh, to to psychological counselling and counsellors uh, in sexual assault. There is a um, uh, yeah the. the the QPS website is is excellent. And I know it. I know it. Yeah. So that they would have directions to to independent counsellors. And this, look, I, I, I the, the the I don't want to delve too much into the into the whys and wherefore of it, but any organisation, any organisation is able by the laws uh, in Victoria at least to offer compensation to people who have been wronged by their employees in a civil process yep. without going to the police. And we can't... That's that's a fundamental right yep. by law that they're allowed to do that. I don't understand but what that. What I can say and what I hang over their heads is if you want to say in your blurb 
that Victoria Police yeah. have supported or yeah. uh, or support. No, look, your Glenn, I understand I where you're at. Forward. I do understand where you're at, and and uh, I do understand that yep. the areas that you can deal with in yep. that regard. Um, yep. Um, I've probably, um, yeah, I've done a lot of promotion to others trying to um, assist them to understand what their rights are in there because this is the last thing that they get to find out about, believe it or not, yeah. uh, um, in there. So, yes, I do understand that. Um, can I take you back? I did ask about lawyers. Yes. Do you have a, any other? No, I don't have any. I can't. I can't refer you to anyone. Uh, look, all I'm saying is that I have letters from survivors who have gone through um, particular firms of lawyers, and uh, they, when I've spoken to them, they've been uh, quite um, passionate about the rights of their clients, and they are writing very uh, demanding and uh, um, very. Um, no, well, their association uh, with IGFA precludes them from me. Um, uh, that's okay. That's your personal choice. But yeah. the independent. Yeah, no, I'm, the, I'm not up for suicide attempts anymore. Okay. So no, I can't recommend anyone else. That's okay. Been, uh, Thanks, Glenn. Through your cohort of people that would would know uh, other solicitors who may be able to. Yeah. Assist you no, that's all right. I just I thought. All right. Thanks. Been good talking with you. No worries at all. Bye.